Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I will show you how to fly quick approaches using the beautiful Leonardo Mad Dog MD80 just released for MSFS 2020. So now we can fly very quick approach using FSI Panel and this beautiful bird. Before I forget, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. That will help me producing video and you will get the latest news. All right, without waiting, just load your aircraft in the simulator on the runway where you want to train or at least on the airport where you want to train on any runway. Why on a runway? Because you will have your engines running when you click ready to fly. And this is important for FSI panel. So I click ready to fly. And as you can see, I'm sitting on a runway in Frankfurt right now, two five left. And as always with FSI panel, make sure your engines are running and that's all you need to do. The rest will be taken care by FSI panel. So don't worry about your overhead panel. Don't worry about anything. Even the QNH here is wrong. As you can see, we are not in the right altitude for uh, Frankfurt. If I synchronize it, you see 340. So we will on purpose make something wrong there and you will see what happened with FSI panel. All right, before we go any further, let's choose our training weight so here you can use the load manager from leonardo and i will just go random loading and uh, when you're happy with your load then you can upgrade it so right now i should have a takeoff weight about 55 tons so that's good for me so i will send it to the simulator and that's it so we are 55 tons right now with 2.5 tons of fuel on each tank all right, let's start a quick approach. So I will start FSI panel. And when we start FSI panel on a runway, FSI panel will detect where we are. So as you can see here, Frankfurt, runway 07 center. We said we will go on 25 left. So I will change it to runway 25 left. So we have a little bit of tailwind. So rather go on 07 right. Let's see, 07 right as an ILS, long runway. So we'll choose that one with an headwind of six knots. It's a bit better. And then if you know FSI panel, you know that you can select all kind of position that you can customize vectors, base, final stars or pilot waypoint where you can select your star in Frankfurt. But for this example, we are going to use the quick set buttons. So we will try now to go on a long final. So when you click long final, you can see on the summary that the aircraft will be positioned at 8 nautical miles runway 07 right for the ILS at 2600 feet and we will use flaps 40 for landing. If you want to use flaps 28, it's up to you, you change it right there. Okay, now when I click move aircraft, remember that we should not touch anything until FSI panel tells you to do so. So click move aircraft and see what happens. All right, we're in the cockpit. The first thing, the flaps are moving to flaps 40, as you can see. So we'll not touch anything. We wait as FSI panel asks you to do, just preparing your aircraft, stand by. When the flaps are at 40, we'll go in the air. Here we are. All right, now your remote control panel will be set for you. So if you see all kind of funny stuff with your aircraft, don't worry, let it fly. Let her fly and let FSI panel do the job. So remember, we should be 2,600 feet. So you can see that now we are reaching 2,600 feet. All right, I will just acknowledge the ATC instructions there so that we have a quiet cockpit. All right, we are reaching 2,600 feet. You can see localizer, glide slope, everything looks good. And now we get the message from FSI panel, hold your brake for three seconds to take control. So let's have a look at what happened there. So we can see now that we have 2,600 feet as expected. We have the uh, right speed for the approach there. We have the IRS frequency set. We have the uh, lights set for landing. If we look in the overhead panel, we can see that FSI panel has set everything as it should be. 
if we look into our auto brake it's medium this you can set as well in the option of fsi panel i'll show you in a minute and the auto brake is arm now when i hold my brake for three seconds to take control the system of the md80 will disarm the um, auto brake but don't worry about that fsi panel will turn it back on a few seconds later all right so now that we are on final you can see that we're in position freeze so there you can set your minimum you could set your fmc if you want to and when you're ready to fly you can hold your brake for three seconds to take control and i think another thing very important in msfs 2020 is to check your localizer deviation you can see there that we are slightly right of the localizer so what you should do there is turn your heading bug around 10 degrees to the left so that we intercept the localizer when we take control so i will take around heading 055 or 057 10 degrees left all right and now i will hold my brake for three seconds one two and three and i will get the message that i have the control and you can see my auto brake has been armed again now we can arm the approach so we have lock captured altitude hold we're gonna have the glide slope capture anytime soon now we have the glide slope captured and we will try auto land so land is armed if we look into our speed brake armed and everything is good we are ready to go for the landing so i'll see you on the ground in a couple of seconds for the uh, landing landing report and i will show you as well the after landing flow so see you in a while okay back with you we are on short final approaching 500 feet we are stable and as you can see our QNH was set to the local QNH so now I will take over the controls for uh, manual landing and we were slightly uh, right and left of localizer at the beginning of the approach we will see that on the landing report and now what I will do on purpose is a long landing so that we can see our landing report showing that we have done a long landing so let's go a little bit long so we will uh, float a little bit all right now you can see my glide slope deviation and i will just touch down at the end of the touchdown zone and slightly left of center line and float and float and float and we go right there here we go reverses and manual braking out of reverses 60 knots all right i will show you now one feature of fsi panel on this aircraft which is the after landing flow so we just landed in frankfurt so to activate the after landing flow which is basically your first officer fsi panel vacate the runway and make sure your ground speed that you can see on the bottom left of your pfd is less than 30 knots okay now you can see my ground speed is around 23 knots the only thing you have to do now is retract one notch of your flaps so let's do that and now as you can see I will stop here the lights have been turned off by FSI panel the flaps are moving up and the APU will be starting so basically the after landing as per the FCOM is done so you can just taxi your airplane to the gate and shut down your engine whenever you're ready and that's about it all right so now we will stop here set the parking brake and I will show you the landing report all right so let's bring the landing report wow as expected you can see a long landing we were slightly left of center line as we did on purpose so you can see there are deviations on the approach and we were a bit high at the uh, final there final stage that was expected so this is where you can train your landing all right now without touching anything my aircraft is still on ground with the flaps at 
flaps up, sorry, because we did the after landing flow. We have a lot of flashing things. What we will do now is try to fly another approach. So to fly another approach, very easy. Go to FSI panel. Let's say we want vectors now, left hand vectors for the ILS. I select vectors, move aircraft. See the flaps now are moving for vectors, which are flaps 15, I guess. And here we go. Don't touch anything as always. Gear is moving up. Now FSI panel is taking care of the cockpit. Our target altitude 2600 feet. We are almost reaching there. You can see your intercept heading there, which is 30 degrees intercept for the ILS. And when we reach 2600 feet, the instructions will be to hold your brake for three seconds when ready to take over the control. So let's see that. Now hold your brake for three seconds to take control. APU generator off because we have the APU running so we can turn off the APU and there APU off and spoiler flap extended. This is my speed brake. That's it. So now we are fully ready. You can see altitude is correct. Nav setting is done. The lights are set except the nose wheel as we have the landing gear up. You can see that your auto brake has been set but not arm because the gear is uh, up. And we are ready to fly. So now I'm on an intercept heading. The only thing I have to do, hold my brake three seconds. I will get the message from FSI panel there. Aircraft ready, you have control. And now basically the aircraft is flying and you can arm the approach. You can fly manually. Your airport is at your 11 o'clock and arm approach and go and fly. All right, this is how to fly quick approaches using the uh, beautiful Mad Dog MD-80. This is, I guess, the first complex aircraft in MSFS 2020. It's a beautiful job. I hope uh, that PMDG will follow very soon with the 737 because we need this kind of add-ons on this uh, simulator platform. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comment or questions, please drop your questions below. And as always, stay safe and see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thank you, guys. And see you soon. Bye-bye.